Okay, evaluating our heat tape performance here. It's about 30, 33 degrees out right now, and the heat tapes are going. I have two separate heat tapes. I have a weave, I don't know if you can see it. I have a weave in the bottom of the gutter, back and forth. It's kind of real hard to see. It's, you can see it better over, uh, over here. Sort of weaves back and forth in the bottom. Then I have the one that's on the roof. Um, I think I spaced this at 14 inches from loop to loop, loop to loop. And then, of course, I have them down here and I have a box on the side, which eventually I will hook up. But right now I didn't have time, so I had to run the extension cord. Lovely. Anyway, um, you can see that it does burn a nice channel for the water to get out. And the water is definitely uh, running down. You can see the drips right there. Now here's my biggest problem. The valley. See a nice stream of water? And it runs down, and it drips, and then it freezes in the ground. That's bad. So I'm going to have to do something there. I also had this problem where... The ice fills up right behind a loop like that. Um, there as well and there. A single run on the top of the, of the uh, what do you call this? The, uh, I had a short double run over here, as you can see. Then I had to go to a single run because the heat tape wasn't long enough. Um, there's two separate ones, but it looks like... Uh, it's not effective on the top, not effective enough because I have ice building up. So I'm going to need, I have two, three runs worth inside. I have um, a, a squiggly in the bottom, a weave, you know, a back and forth like a snake. And I have a straight across. I don't know if you can see it. You have a straight across kind of suspended up above. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing any good in the up above ones. It's kind of a waste. So I guess I'll do a squiggly in the bottom, probably a little tighter weave if I can. That would get, it burns it better. Because um, it does seem to uh, float over the hair, so I'll go a real, real heavy, tight weave in the bottom to burn it, burn it, uh, good keep from doing it. And then um, on the top, uh, a double or a triple. And I think what I'm going to need to do is at every loop here, I'm going to need an upward loop to meet it from this. So, so I'll take the bottom, this guy here, and have a loop coming up behind it to meet this loop and separate it with the separator uh, clips. So that way we don't have that problem over there with the ice building up behind it, which is obviously very bad. So I need my diverter uh, panels on too so I don't have that dripping problem in the, the valleys. So it do seem to be working though. Um, this section of the roof is not insulated. So I guess lessons learned here. Um, you definitely do need a, the heat tape on top of the gutter guard. Okay, um, a single run of heat tape cable is insufficient on the top, and the straight one suspended in the middle of it is pretty much worthless. It doesn't do anything. So, um, better off to put in the top and do a triple or double on the top of the, the gutter guard, and like a, at least a double, equivalent double length weave on the bottom here. It's kind of snaked back and forth. This is what I did is inside the gutter and the bottom I went like a zigzag pattern and I taped it down with HVAC tape and then I glued it down I had to make all these custom, these are all custom um, they're PVC offsets because we have this nice angle there so anyway, now well, that's the like heat tape evaluation and being able to switch them on independently is extremely important switch your bottom on first, this bottom in the gutter switch the gutter on independently from the top because you want to burn the gutter clear first before you kick on the top ones Otherwise, it'll overload the bottom and you'll be screwed. And um, that's bad. So, yeah, as you can see in the end there, we had a little problem. So, I think lessons learned on our, uh, our heat tape. So, I guess on the other side, I'll do something similar. The valley's tough, really tough, though. You really got to go heavy on the valley, it looks like. I mean, I, I went pretty heavy there and it burned a pretty good pattern. So, anyway, well, here we are.